Hey, Commander, where did Janet take off to so fast? She's left the Wildcats. Left? Why? Stern reprimanded her for blowing those buildings in Mauritania, and then for shooting down the Learjet last mission. Apparently, her idea of her job and his idea of her job don't coincide. And she decided to find a squadron that treated her better. I'm sure this is hard on you and all, but if it's what she wants, it's for the better. If you need someone to talk to, let me know. Tremendous job, Commander! This payoff will sure make balancing my books a little easier. Stern isn't happy that innocent people died for it. And what was the alternative? Failing the mission? I don't know, Virgil. It isn't as simple as that. Sure it is. Stern always forgets that this is a business. I hope you can remember that a little better. If you ask me, we need more pilots like Janet to keep us in business. We've got one less like Janet now, Virgil. She's gone. Too bad. Thanks to her, we're up on our mortgage payments now. Ah, Commander. Stern was looking for you. He's gotten us an assignment in Andes, Mallorca. We'll be leaving for there shortly. But right now, he wants you to meet him in back. He's talking to Jean-Paul Prideau, the leader of the Jackals. The Jackals? Isn't that the squadron that broke off from the Wildcats? Yes. Prudeau and Stern had a falling out over finances. Prudeau will do anything for profit, while Stern is more selective. Anyhow, Stern wants you to meet him. Go through the cafe to the far right. They're waiting for you. So, Stern, this must be your young protégé. Are you ready to assume command when Stern steps down? I suppose. I heard about you sparring a pilot and forfeiting a bonus. You're a fool, my young friend. Almost as bad as Stern is. I'll take that as a compliment. Not everyone would. Janet Page, for example. She joined my jackals yesterday. An excellent career decision. You see, Stern, your quaint ideals no longer have a place in this world. You're lost, young Paul. Nothing remains the man you were. You're the only one who would miss him, Stern. You have some hard lessons to learn if you're going to survive out there, my friend. You see, Stern doesn't play hard enough to make it. And I don't think you will either. I will say hello to Janet for you. Good day, gentlemen. Welcome to my war, amigos! Your first operation will be to support my ground troops by destroying Peruvian artillery and armor divisions, as well as a key stronghold near the border. They threaten my supply lines. Understood. And our payment, General Mendez? Gold bullion. 
worth $20 million on today's exchange, with $6 million paid in advance. An impressive offer for a support mission. What's the catch, Mendez? There is no catch, my friend. Those who help me are helped in return. And it keeps them from coming after you, too. There are some few who wish me dead. Is there that? But they are outlaws, bandidos, my friend, and not civilized people like we are. Besides, they cannot pay nearly as much as us. Do you have any further questions, Commander Stern? That's all, General. Let's get going, Commander. Andes Majorca, a paradise on Earth. If you can avoid getting shot while sunbathing, this is one of the most war-torn areas of the globe, Commander. No kidding. I can't figure out why you accepted this one. Surrounding countries have demonstrated their hostility to Majorca, sending assassins to kill the President, Jorge Mendez. I hate assassins, Commander. Besides, Mendez wants to unite the region, ending hostilities in South America. And by God, I'm going to see that he gets the chance. Thank you.